If you've clicked on this video, you've probably seen these AI-generated mock-ups popping up everywhere. And from the looks of things, the big studios are using them, the smaller freelancers are using them, so you should probably be using them too. If you don't know me already, my name's Jack Watson, I'm a brand designer based in Manchester, and over the past two years, I've been creating content for brand designers. That being said, if you're a business owner looking for a full rebrand, or alternatively, a brand designer looking to improve your process, you'll find the links in the description, you can either book a discovery call with myself, or alternatively, buy the templates that I use for my branding agency non-stop. In today's video, I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step mock-up process, the prompts that I use, and I'll also show you exactly how you can do this for free. So the first method is to use already existing product shots. Here is a stock photo that I downloaded off Adobe Stock. You can also download stock photos from sites like Envato Elements or alternatively Google Images, and you will simply have just a box with a plain background like this one. Now, if I wanted to change this mock-up to look like it's sat on some rocks by the ocean, this is exactly how I would do it. So the first step is to open Google Chrome. Now I'd advise against opening it on Safari simply because of some technical JavaScript technicalities that I'm really not sure of, but Adobe Firefly runs much smoother on Google Chrome than it does on Safari. So the first thing you wanna do is type in Adobe Firefly, and then we want to go to text to image. So when we land on this page, all we need to do is type in a prompt, which can just be the letter A, click generate and sign into our Adobe account. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to want to do is change our aspect ratio to 16 by nine. Make sure the content type's on photo. For the composition reference, we want to upload our image of a box. We've got our stock photo here. Now we're gonna increase the strength. I'm gonna type in cardboard box mock-up by the ocean, surrounded by rocks, moody lighting, click hyper-realistic. And then we're gonna change the lighting to studio lighting. Click generate and let's see what it gives us. Perfect. So I'm liking the look of this top right one, I think we're gonna download this one for now. And the good thing is when we create more mock-ups, we can then use this as a reference. So I'll give you a quick example. If we just completely get rid of the reference originally, and then if we go to the styles instead of composition and upload what we've just downloaded, and then if we increase the strength and visual intensity, and we type in poster by the ocean, surrounded by rocks, moody lighting, and generate that, you'll see that what it generates us is an image very similar to the last one. Now it hasn't done a poster, so we're gonna put poster mock-up. Isolated by the rocks, by the ocean surrounded by rocks. And there we go. Now a crucial step before we actually download it is to click this upscale button here, and then we can download it. Now if we want to edit this mock-up, it's not gonna be as easy as the other two methods. We're going to click new file on Photoshop, click create. It should already put the width and height in there if you've copied it. And then if we paste our box in with Command V, bring in our logo from Adobe Illustrator with Command C, Command V. The way we could make this look real is by simply holding option, shrinking the size down, placing it in place. And then by holding Command, we can adjust these anchor points. Click enter when we're happy with it. And then to make it blend into the background, we just double click the logo. And then holding option for the underlying layer, we want to click the right side of this tab drag it slightly to the right and drag this one as well to the left and you'll see this gives it a realistic effect now if you want to get a bit more technical and create more advanced mock-ups then i definitely recommend this second option which is my favorite option so the second option is to use an already existing psd mock-up file so we want to start off by making sure it's a completely blank mock-up and then we'll export it by going to file export export as and now if we go back to adobe firefly we can attach our reference image which is going to be the one that we've just created here we've got our blank mock-up here and then if we also want it to be referenced to the last photo we can click the style drag in this cardboard mock-up that we just created, put the strength and intensity down to the bottom, and then we can change this to two ready meal box mock-ups, white, by the ocean, surrounded by rocks, moody lighting, studio light, and generate. And now because we put the strength up, you'll see that this is pretty much identical to the mock-up, but as you can see, it manipulates the packaging slightly and we don't want that, so I'll show you a quick trick on how we can change that. So first of all, all we need to do is upscale the one that we like the most, download it, and if we paste it to the bottom of our layers, you can see that this fits perfectly with our mock-up. So now if we go back to the top, we can simply change our packaging as we like. We'll bring this in from Illustrator. And now you can see we have this custom mock-up generated by AI with the help of an already pre-made template. Now to get rid of these white bits at the bottom, all we need to do is click this selection tool here, click this button, drag it around both of sides, and then just click generate fill and generate. A very high quality mock-up, and if we want to add some more features, we can simply draw around with the lasso tool, maybe type in 
water splashes. As you can see, we can start to add different effects. So you can go crazy with it, go as detailed as you like. It's completely up to you how you do it. So let's jump into the final method, how you can do it completely for free. So over here, I've got my packaging for a brand called Smash. I'll take this into a new document really quickly. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna keep it as a square for now. I'm gonna paste the packaging in, make it a little bit bigger. This is going to be our mock-up for the AI. I'm gonna delete all of the contents on the mock-up and I'm gonna make it all the same color. So I'm just gonna delete this bottom part and then I'm going to align it to the center. Now for this, I want it to be on a brick wall surrounded by Christmas lights and also in, the, in a hole on a snowy brick wall. So to do this, I'm going to draw the hole that it's going to be sat in. Just join these together, send it to the back and we'll make it black. And now to draw the Christmas lights, all we need to do is grab a brush tool, increase the stroke, get rid of the fill and start to draw where we'd like our lights. So I'm just gonna draw this around here, which is messy and wonderful as we like. And that should be completely fine. So now if I export this by going to file, export, export as, save it as a PNG. And now if we go back to Adobe Firefly, get rid of all of our references and styles because we're gonna do this completely different. Upload the composition reference, which is gonna be this messy line vector that we just created. Make sure the strength's increased. And now for the prompt, we're going to type in box, packaging, silhouette on a snowy brick wall surrounded by Christmas lights. You can see it's got some recommended versions here at the top. And then we're gonna to put top view, moody lighting again, and then we're gonna put studio lights as well. And click generate. And look at that. Yeah, these are amazing. Probably go for this one. You can see it's crazy how you can literally just draw vectors on Adobe Illustrator and actually come up with mock-ups like this. And now I'm gonna show you a really quick way to actually make it look professional and take your vector design that we created for the packaging, take it into Photoshop and make a really realistic looking mock-up. We'll create a new file. I believe it's 2180 by 2180. Go to our downloads, bring in our mock-up. Uh, maybe it's a little bit smaller, but we'll just make that bigger. And then if we bring in our packaging vector, not the awful one we originally did, Take that into Photoshop and paste it. Simply just increase the size. Now, right now, this is looking awful, but I promise you, it looks good in the end. We'll just make this a little bit bigger so it covers the entire box. Perfect. The first thing we're going to do is go to our layers at the bottom, change this to linear dodge add. And you see already, this is looking a lot better. And then all we need to do is click layer mask at the bottom and by choosing a black brush, we can now just clean up the edges by simply drawing over the sharp white edges. And there we have it, we have a realistic AI product mock-up. We can always change the fill down slightly to make it more realistic, pull that to about 85%. And how cool is that? If you haven't heard of Framer before, it's a popular no-code web development tool. With a similar interface to Figma, the advantage is that you can directly publish your designs as a website without the need of code. As you can see, taking a look at the software, the interface is very similar to Figma, and I'm currently working on developing my own brand guideline hosted on Framer. Now, the goal is to create a template for you guys to enable live updates, easy access, and interactive features, such as being able to download the logo files, copy the hex codes across with ease, and download fonts without having to go through a separate file every time. Now, if you've been watching my series, you'll know that I'm currently working on a few different client projects for my new agency, Nonstop, and I'll be using Framer to create the website for the Save Our Species Alliance brand identity. But if you want to get started today with Framer and you'd like 35% off your first three months, make sure to use the code JACK.